Hi there, students. Okay, satiate, sate, a surfeit, to cloy, to pull, a glut, and to gorge. Okay, let's see. To satiate. Yeah, if something satiates you, it satisfies you. Okay. Um, the, I don't know, uh, foods with high calorie values tend to satiate people more readily. This word is fairly formal, yeah? Um, I'd use it if I was writing a technical paper or something, yeah? But if your mum asks you, have you had enough to eat? I'm satiated. No. Also notice, to satiate is not necessarily just for food. Yeah, um, it uh, satiated his interest, for example, as well, but still quite, really quite formal. Okay, to sate, the meaning is, is the same. I'm, I'm sated. Um, I think this is just sh maybe short for satiate, being satiated. Um, okay, to sate, I'm, if somebody at a formal dinner said, have you had enough food? I'm well sated, thank you. But it still sounds very formal and quite distant, yeah? Um, you could use it for a technical paper as well. But in normal everyday speech, don't use either of these, yeah? Okay, a surfeit. Okay, a surfeit is when you have more of something than you need. Yeah, you program that you're going to need 63 of these, and at the end of the day, you only use 60, okay? So you have a surfeit, yeah? Very often, a surfeit of food, but it doesn't have to be uh, uh, of food, yeah? Um, surfeit is still a surfeit. This is still, still sounds um, like uh, an economist talking, yeah? It's still fairly formal, slightly less than satiate and sate, but not much. Okay, to cloy. Um, when something is sticky and sweet and you eat it and it's, uh, you, you keep eating something sweet and sweet, eventually you, you start to feel sick, that's your stomach. But you don't, you come to a point where you just can't eat anymore because you don't like it anymore. The flavour is cloying, yeah? Okay? It's so sweet, so good, that uh, um, you don't want any more, yeah? It's been really nice, but you're getting tired of it, yeah? Um, I'm thinking maybe you could describe a romantic scene as cloying when it's full of hackneyed, commonplace phrases, yeah? Uh, Clichéd phrases, then maybe the romantic film will start to cloy, it will be cloying, yeah? Blech. Blech. Yeah? Um, if something's too sweet, you could say it's cloying as well. Okay, to pour. Um, if you enjoy something a lot, that's good. And if you do it ever more frequently, very often, um, the pleasure begins to pour. It becomes less intense, yeah? Um, okay, pallbearers are the people that carry a dead body, yeah? And I think something pulls, it goes grey, it dies, yeah? Okay, um, th the first jokes he, was, he told were really funny, but then they began to pull, yeah? To go grey and dead and ashen and boring, okay? So to pull, yeah? To become less intense because, well, because normally you've had a surfeit of it. There's too much of it. Okay, a glut. A glut is definitely, uh, I would say, a technical word in a market. When there is a glut, there is a huge amount of product for sale and the price goes through the floor, yeah? So, some years, um, I don't know, the production of strawberries is affected by the bad weather at the end of the spring, yeah? And uh, they're not very many and the price goes sky high. But if there's a glut, 
everybody has got more strawberries than they can eat, more strawberries than they can pick, more strawberries th than they can sell, everywhere. That's a glut, yeah? A large amount of supply of something at a certain moment, at a certain time, yeah? Okay? So, an oil glut comes when uh, the oil producing uh, countries are uh, exporting huge amounts of oil, probably because they need money, okay? And the last one, to gorge. Okay, when you gorge, you eat a lot. You eat everything. You eat as much as you can. Yeah, um, I think your gorge is in your throat. It, I think the gorge is just under here. Yeah, but to gorge, to eat lots of. I gorged myself at that party last night. Yeah, to gorge is normally with food. Yeah, okay. I was gorged after the me uh, after the meal, and uh, I, I I I fell asleep and had a three-hour nap. Yeah, more than a nap. Yeah. I wouldn't, so, more than satiated, getting formal, oversated, very formal, maybe even old-fashioned or poetic, yeah? Did I eat a surfeit of food? No, surfeit says there was a surfeit of food because I couldn't eat all of it, yeah? Um, some of the uh, puddings began to cloy because they were too sweet, yeah, just too intense, yeah? And... At the very end, I'd eaten so much that uh, the idea of eating more food palled, yeah? I really had gorged myself. I particularly gorged myself on the uh, raspberries because there was a glut of raspberries at that time. Okay? That gives you the idea. Okay, satiate, formal, yeah? Had enough, had, um, had enough to satisfy yourself. Satiate, satisfy. Sate to satisfy as well. But again, formal. A surfeit more than program, more than necessary. We had a surfeit of applications and didn't know how to deal with them, okay, more than we expected. Something that cloys is over is too much of something that's oversweet or over intense and may and maybe becomes hackneyed, cliched, and boring. To pour. Okay, a pool of grey smoke uh, was over the building, yeah? Um, a pool bearer carries a dead body and something pulls, you start not to like it anymore, yeah? And a glut. A glut is when there's a huge amount of production of one thing. There's more than anyone can use, yeah? And to gorge yourself, yeah? Let's see, yeah, he gorged himself. I think you can only do this reflexively. Is to eat as much as, or a huge amount of uh, something, okay? So anyway, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Satiate, sate, surfeit, cloy, pour, glut, and gorge. Well, I hope the good quality of this video hasn't made it cloying, yeah? And I hope uh, your interest in English hasn't pulled, yeah? I'm sure it was enough to satiate you. And I hope there weren't a surfeit of words that you didn't understand. Okay, bye for now.